In a recent appearance on Meet the Press, Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley addressed Donald Trump's controversial suggestion that General Mark Milley should be executed for treason. Haley, also running against Trump for the 2024 nomination, described Trump's statement as irresponsible but didn't deem it disqualifying for his presidential candidacy. This move has sparked concerns among experts who observe a growing trend of authoritarianism within the Republican Party. Ruth Ben Guyot, an expert in authoritarianism, expressed worry about Haley's response, highlighting the disturbing notion that advocating for the execution of military leaders is becoming a normalized stance within the GOP. Ben Guyot sees this as part of a broader shift towards authoritarian ideologies, emphasizing the importance of influential figures like Haley in shaping public perception and opinion. As Trump's call for the execution of General Milley aligns with the sentiment within the Republican Party, there's a growing concern about the normalization of violence in political discourse. Ben Guyot argues that such endorsements of violence by authoritative figures like Haley contribute to a climate that may pave the way for an authoritarian crackdown. The expert's observation points to the real-time dynamics within the GOP, where extreme rhetoric seems to be gaining traction. As the party navigates its course, there is a palpable shift towards more authoritarian ideologies, raising questions about the long-term implications for American democracy. In the midst of this, commenters have pondered a hypothetical scenario, how would Haley respond if Trump directed similar language towards her? This question underscores the complex dynamics within the GOP and the challenges posed by the intersection of political competition and the potential normalization of violent rhetoric within the party.